Hello, everyone, and welcome to Speedrun Theater. I am your host, Rudix, and I am once again joined by my buddy, uh, Rename. How is it going, Rename? It's going great. Thank you, Rudy. How are you? I am going great. How's it going, Rename? It's going great, Rudy. How are you? I am going great, and today, <laughs> for Speedrun Theater... I have brought the game Night and Grail for, uh, I don't remember what this is for, PC something? Some old thing. Some C64? Being run by, yeah, maybe that's it. Mm-hmm. Commodore 64? Yeah. Dang. I bet it's got great graphics. It's got to have great graphics. Like 64 graphics? Oh, a six- wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's being played by Jorf. Uh, I believe this is the any percent. I need to note, though, that Jorf was kind enough to edit out the eight minutes of loading. Oh, gosh. The, like, eight minutes of loading screens in this. Uh, for the sake of entertainment and people's sanity, he has removed eight whole minutes of loading screens. Very kind. Very generous. So, yes. And with that, um, let's go ahead and begin. Ooh. There we have Night Grail. Nice Night and Grail. Is that like a play on Nightingale, it. the bird? Uh, you know, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> Night and Grail. But this is, this is the journey of, um, let's go with Ronaldo. Okay. Because Ronaldo heads out into, uh, the Ooh. cave forest. This is probably a cave. Woo. Dude, I love Along... old soundtracks like these. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, this game has no sound effects, so it's just soundtrack. Oh, that's perfect. So it's, it's basically just... Listening to an OST. That is... Oh, that's my dream game. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of all those stupid sound effects. Yeah. Did those... Nothing but the pure music here. Those torches in the background look so cool. I know. The it's because C- they're 64 graphics. Yeah. The C64 was so powerful. It is. Look at that <sighs> swaying back and forth. Man, and and a beautiful, like, 4 FPS. And look how big his sword is. It's huge. <laughs> it's bigger than he is. Yeah. <clears throat> This reminds me of Maximo. <coughs> Dude, I never played that I think that he game. had a giant sword. Yeah. He has, like, it's a pretty, like, huge sword. I always saw, like, Anyways, five copies is... of that at Blockbuster whenever I went. Really? Yeah. It was a very popular game when it came out. I worked at Block... Or not Blockbuster. <coughs> I worked at GameStop when it came out. Oh, right. Yeah. So, I don't know. He, um... This is the journey of, uh... Gregory. I don't know this guy's name. He headed down to this cave, mm-hmm. turned around, and now he's going back out of this cave. I think this is a castle, man. Uh, Cave Castle. Cave Castle. I don't... Uh, I'm gonna assume Jorf knows where they're actually supposed to be going, <laughs> and they weren't actually just lost. Yeah, I hope so. Our friend Gregory here, as he heads out on his journey, decides to return back to home because he left his oven on. Or maybe his shield? But he forgot his shield, and along in his journey, he now heads up into the roof, All the right. attic, where his grandfather left a shield wait there's some sound effects now you hear that little tonk tonks oh he wall oh, jumped the music left and was now replaced with sound oh, effects. oh boo bring back the music <laughs> you can only have one or the other no. but not both. bring back the music would you rather <clears throat> would you rather have music or sound effects for in real life for the rest of my life uh you know that's a good one let's go with that <clears throat> would you only be able to hear music or sound effects in real life <laughs> music dude definitely music well i don't know because like what if a uh, building is falling down and you're just walking around or something and then like that's the true. side of that's some true. building falls off yeah because that happened to me once but it's a trade-off because then i wouldn't hear people like banging pots and pans anymore so it's worth it <laughs> but um, think of all the pots and pans music you'd miss out on well then i would hear it if it was considered music but it's just sound effects. Well, then it's not music. Is it? <laughs> Man, I think we're getting into like the weird details of this scenario now. If you bang the a rhythm, of YouTube. if you bang a rhythm of pots and pans, does it become music? And thus, you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, just like Hurrah Torpedoes and the rendition of Total Eclipse of the Heart. Hurrah Torpedoes. Which just them banging pots. Yeah, you never heard of Hurrah Torpedoes? No. Their their musical instruments consist of like a washing machine, a pot of stew, and like a couple of 
Oh, now the sound effects are gone. Yes. We're back to music only. Yes. I'm pretty sure I've heard this song in Echo, Tides of, Tides of Time. Which game is that? That's the second Echo game, I think. I mean, like, what do you play as? Uh, Dolphin. Oh, okay. Echo the Dolphin. Okay. For some reason, uh, I was thinking of, like, a PS2 3D platformer when you said that name. But, yeah, Echo is Echo? Uh, SNES. Maximo? No. <laughs> Yo, did you see that sick D-boost in over of the wall? Yeah. D-boost and a wall jump and a kick back and a flippy-doo. It was sick, <laughs> Flippy-doo? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Imagine being one of these faces that shoots fireballs. I don't know if they're alive. I'm alive. <laughs> I think it's a magical statue of sorts. <clears throat> oh, he found a shield finally. Oh, quest complete. <laughs> now he can continue his journey. Now he's going Our home. Our friend here... Our friend here, um, Ronaldo, is ready to go on his journey through the cave. I think you were saying he's uh, heading home originally, so now that he's found his shield, he's probably going back home. No, he had to go back home to get his shield because he forgot it. Oh, so that was home. And now he's in the cave. Yeah. He's starting his journey. In okay. the attic, remember? That's right. He went up into the attic. That was the attic. Now he's back into the cave. Okay, so now the journey begins. The journey begins. Ronaldo yeah. heads out. Along in his journey, he fights snakes, um, wallhead monsters. More wallhead monsters. More snakes. <gasps> and more wallhead monsters. Are those oh. Octo somethings from Zelda? Octo rocks? Octo rocks. That's the one. They might be. Floating wall Octo yeah. rocks. Yeah. Walk to rocks. Our friend Fernando here <laughs> faces the d perilous dangers of Octo rocks. Do you know you're snakes. changing the name every time you talk about him? <laughs> I may not be good with names. Okay. Because you haven't figured that out yet. All right, all right. And the last, like, 26 or 7 episodes of our life. Days of our lives. That's true. This is, this has been days of footage. Oh! <laughs> that was a Are cool shriek. Are you sure shriek. you want sound, or music or sound effects? I don't know. That was a really cool sound effect. I like that the wyvern is <laughs> no, that throwing the spears. <laughs> That's it. the tag. Our friend Donald here has defeated the dragon in his journey through... Space and time. All right, you may in this you perilous may, cavern. You may be bad at names, but I will allow it because you did some alliteration there, and I love your alliteration. <laughs> when you said Donald defeated I, the dragon, yeah, that was sick. Thanks for pointing that out. No problem. I'll always point in out. In case somebody in the audience didn't know, man, oh, I can't. I don't want to talk about how much I love alliteration. I can go on a five. <laughs> I can go on a five minute tangent. I don't know if we have five minutes. There's at least a good three hours. There's eight minutes of loading screens that we have okay. to talk through. That'll be the bonus footage. I'll just talk about alliteration over the eight minutes of loading screens. <laughs> <laughs> bonus director's cut footage. <laughs> Buy the DVD now. <laughs> oh, man. All right, anyways. So as Harry heads off through this cave, the he faces cave. now iron giants and snakes. Are you sure they're iron and giants? sound effects. Um, yeah, because it said iron on the bottom of the screen. Oh, did it? Dang. Mm -hmm. I just assumed he was stone because we're in a stone cave. No, we're in the east cave. Whoa. Now we're at the crossroads. Where Harry has to make a decision. To wall jump? How to wall jump through this cavern okay. to the mountain foot. Where he will face fell beasts. Or and not. <laughs> eyeballs. Man, this game is kind of really cool. I know, this game is really fun yeah. for the Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. There was only like six games on the Commodore 64, that and this one was probably true. one of the most fun. <laughs> I think there was like one of the Ease games was on there too. I think numerous were. Were they? Yeah. I thought they were all on like the PC. Some of the earlier Ease games were on like eight or nine systems. Yeah, this is very true. And the weird thing is, like, Ease 4, mm -hmm. there's, like, six versions of Ease 4, depending on which system it was on. Oh, right. It's just a completely different game every time. Ooh, watch out, Harry! Well, that soundtrack didn't oh. fit. It's all over, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a surfing yeah. soundtrack. Dang. Or, uh, man, what was, well, that? What was those old sports <clears throat> games? Tech Mobile? No, like, it had a bunch of mini-games. One of them was, like, Hacky Sack. California games? California games, yeah. I was, like, sort of yeah. hearing California games. Yeah. <clears throat> That's probably, um, what this game was really about. That's what they see in C64 stands for. California 64. 
California 64. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those hacky sacks on the wall. Yeah, right? Oh, man. It's all coming together now. <laughs> When's the BMX stage? I love that one. <laughs> oh, I'm excited now, man. I probably played that one more than any other stage. I just repeatedly tried to fail hacky sack over and over again. Oh, I didn't try to <laughs> fail it. I just did fail it. Dang. I also did a lot of the surfing one. Mm -hmm. I probably played that one uh, way too much, too, but mostly just to hear the music. Yeah. I didn't realize that was a real song that played there. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like Beach Boys or something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Um, but I remember just trying to listen to the music for it. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Hidden pass. Harry looks really confused on what's going on. Damage here. boost. <laughs> Some six speech rats. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but Jorf is one of the greatest speedrunners of all time. It's true. It is absolutely true. I first learned about his speedrun an antics from that time he played the Crazy Frog racing game. Right. Well, that's quite an introduction <laughs> to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know how you can follow games on um, Twitch? Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed at what sort of... Did he just walk over those spikes? Yeah, what? Mega Man, eat your heart out. Yeah, this is not the Mega Man I know and love. <laughs> well, See, you as follow, we head through the East Sewers... You follow Crazy Frog Racing on Twitch? <laughs> yeah, okay. you can follow any game. I know so you can follow any game, games. but why would you follow that one? Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know who's going to be playing Crazy Frog. And you know that it's going to be good people. Because uh... nobody that's like uh, Dingus would be some kind of dingbat playing Crazy Frog. I want... Man, I want to disagree with you so hard, but you said that's how you found Jorf, so... <laughs> Alright. Anyways, as uh, David heads through the sewers, Whoa! he turns into a bird. Why? Why did he do that? <laughs> flies over the spikes. And is now heading through the labyrinth as a bird. As a bird! Why? why he do that? how he do that? how he do that? how he do that? There's... Well, you see... Back when David was young, mm -hmm. he was out in the villa in the village fields, yeah. playing with his hacky sack, oh. trying to become the best at California games. Right. When he was greeted by a dove, who said, "Excuse me, sir, but my child is dying, and I need food in order to keep him alive." Mm. And David was like, "I have some food right here. Oh, These nuts and berries I keep on me at all time." And so. He gave the, the bird the food, and the bird was like, I will bless you with my greatest gift, the ability to turn into a bird yourself. And he was like, thank you for turning me into a bird so that I could fly, fly oh, far, gosh. far, far away from here. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that's how David gained his superpowers, to fly as a bird. Wow. And he does it without any use of a magic meter or anything. He can just be a bird forever. Yeah. That's cheating. Imagine just being able to turn into a bird without I, any use of magic. I can't imagine it. I don't want to try to imagine it. It's depressing because it'll well, never we're happen. Watching, we're watching it happen. Yeah, but right I'm here. not David, so I can't do uh, it. It's, well, it's just a depressing thought. <laughs> Sometimes when you turn into a bird... Um, and I'll never be able to get stuck in a wall. Gosh. Is this what happens to Nightcrawler when he, gets, he teleports into a wall? Mm-hmm. Oh! Ooh. Well, as our journey continues... Wow, that was the Harriet weakest boss ever. ...has defeated Dead Skull... With a one shot. ...by attacking it from behind. Yeah. Oh. And they continue through the labyrinth, it's where so they search quiet. for the Minotaur. It's so... It's so atmospheric. Quiet. I know. This is what it would be like if you were in an actual labyrinth. That's true. I think about With that David all the time, Bowie. dude. Well, if David Bowie was there, it wouldn't be that quiet. Oh, I mean, it would be now, but back <laughs> no. in the day, it would, wouldn't be quiet. Oh, too soon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, we're heading out of the dungeon entrance. Heading out of the entrance. Or we're going up. Or we're going... Up beyond the dungeon entrance into the world of tomorrow. Or are we going two. into the outrance? Outrance. Why don't they call it an outrance? As our hero? Well, I don't know. It, why do they call it an oven? Oh no, please not. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Didn't we already mention As... this in a previous episode? <laughs> no. Okay, okay. I don't know. Let's ask Jack here. Okay. As Jack heads through the Holy Hall into 
more of the Holy Hall, mm -hmm. where he fights giant swords. Oh, he's not really fighting them as much as they're just ghostly falling. skulls. Did you know? Did you know? You know how some people are scared of skeletons? Yeah. And some people are scared of ghosts. Yeah. You know how you have both of those inside of you right now. Mm-hmm. But you can't have a skeleton, a skeleton of a ghost, so it can't be that bad. What? Yeah, a ghost can't have a skeleton. Yeah, it's California can they? Games. No, you can see through this a ghost. This is that wipeout song. It is. Oh man, this is my jam. This is a weird boss. <clears throat> uh, the Grail Guard's going down. He doesn't even stand a chance. Duke is jamming, yeah, dude. Did you see him flailing his arms around? That was sick. I know. Oh, just dude, just dominated that guy. He finally obtained, obtained the castle map. Wow. Oh, and here's and the, the Garden Grail. Of Peace. This is probably the end. Maybe? The Grail is always the end of medieval themed games. <clears throat> is oh, it? And he just, he got evaporated. He's dead. Oh. I climbed the stairs to the top. To the top of the of castle. The castle. And, and, and I climbed the stairs to the top of the castle. My strength fading fast. This is a song. <laughs> <laughs> She appeared she? in front of me like a diamond in the rough. Don't make up words. The words are here. And invincible. Look, I'm remixing, okay? Right. Okay. Ready to fight. <laughs> wow, I never knew that California games have lyrics. <laughs> Is this the final boss? Is the final boss credits? <laughs> I gazed at the goblet in my grasp. Can you? My heart filled with hope. What? This is shocking. Is this the final boss? Is the final boss a musical number? This had to work. <laughs> this had to work. Uh, I let her slip from slip from the grail. This is so weird. A dazzling light shone. Upon. What is that word? Upon us oh. both. <clears throat> is that how you spell shown? Uh, yeah. Our, Our true, true forms, forms restored. They were oh, birds! They were birds! You were right! I told you! <laughs> wow. We are free. This is. This the music curse was doesn't lifted. Fit. Yeah, it does. It's a medieval game, and it was slaying a dragon. There was zero dragons in this. There was a cutscene with a dragon. We fought two at the beginning. No, we cut out all the cutscenes. What? <laughs> Eight minutes of them. That was loading screens we cut. And I'm talking was about this cutscene right here. No, there was a dragon. It's not a cutscene. This is uh, the credits. But it's a cutscene. Thank you for Nothing's playing. Nothing's happening. Yeah. There's no scene. This is a scene. It's a musical number. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> playing. Wow. Uh, this is a weird... Alright, cut it. Alright, we're cutting it. <laughs> but there's so many GFX and hack on. Oh no. And rap star I'm just kidding. Alright, it was done. <clears throat> man, that was a trip, man. That was quite the trip. I'm through tripping. a cave. I'm tripping, dude. On down through the sewers. I feel like I'm having an ambient trip. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, why does that se seem so familiar? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to make a joke, and now I can't find the file on my desktop. I mean, on my uh, what cell phone. Get off. Just quit it. You have your laptop with you? No. Oh, hold God. on. I'm looking for the thing. We're going to get it's kicked not out again. Here. We're going to get kicked uh, out. Wait, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold while, on. He, while he's looking. Here's my review. Okay. Here's my review. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Are you, what are you it? doing? I'm scrolling through my cell phone. Hold on. What? Um, <clears throat> this was the journey of Old Mac. He oh, started no. by running up the stairs into the crypt, grabbed the books from the skeleton, and passed into the pit in the pendulum. Knocked over the column and climbed into the what? king's storeroom. Why? <laughs> Smashed the clay pots to find the key that will lead you into the chamber of the sacred markers. Match the symbols to on the right. To the runes on the left, then pass into the room of the ancient warriors. This isn't a review. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, what? 
Uh, we're, we're this getting... is the wrong. This is the wrong cell phone. Is this your cell phone? Yes, that's my cell phone, man. You're reading my I fan don't fake even again. Own a cell phone. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, <clears throat> so, what's your review? Uh, I can't even <clears throat> remember now. I'll say it's two birds out of a dragon. Oh. Yeah. Um, are dragons birds? Yeah, they got wings. And that makes it a bird? Mm-hmm. I thought it had something to do with having hollow bones. No, it's if you got wings. If you can fly, you're a bird. Oh, like bats. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's all a bird. So two bats out of a uh, ostrich. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's it. That was Night in Grail. It was the story of a knight who got the grail. That's true. I liked it a lot, actually. Yeah. It had cool. some good sound effects. Good music effects. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it for me. That's all I got to say. Yeah, see you next time. Yeah, bye. While in Tahiti, did Gauguin live in blue barracudas? <sighs> Incorrect. The natives of Tahiti are called Polynesians. Blue barracudas. Polynesians. That is not one of our choices.